Hello, world. Hello, hello, hello. This is Louise Hicks, your host of Aim to Purpose Spiritual Empowerment Hour. And today is July 4th, the 4th of July, where many of us are off today in celebration of the 4th of July. Therefore, I wanted to take this time out so that I could come in and share a few thoughts and a video about Black history, because I consider Black history to be every day. And I want to share this specific video because it has to do with the book by Dr. Claude Anderson, Black Labor, White Wealth, that I read back in the 1990s. And believe me, that book changed my life. And if you've read it, I'm sure it most likely changed your life. Therefore, today, I hope that we as Black people are reflecting on what today means to us. Because 4th of July, 1776, the slaves were looking to be free. And I'm sure if you know your history, you've heard of Nat Turner, and he was a rebellious slave who was insistent that he was going to be free. Therefore, he led a rebellion. So go and check out your history. But for now, I just want to share this video in hopes that you took your day today, if you were off, to reflect and to work on your independence, because that's what we should be working on, our independence. So let me share this video. It's about seven minutes. And once you watch this video, please do some reflection on your independence, our independence as a Black community. Here we go. So let me share it with you because we need to work on our independence. So watch with reflection. What's up family? It's Caden with Urban Finance. It is Black History Month, my favorite month of the year. All of our videos for this month will focus on Black history, but with a focus on economics, personal finance, and inspirational content. Today we are going to be doing a book review of Black Labor, White Wealth by Dr. Claude Anderson. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to support the page. Leadership. Humans, like all order of life, seek leadership and find it naturally. The power and resources disparity between blacks and whites has caused blacks to have different standards for selecting, developing, and recognizing leadership. Leaders are individuals who can induce others to cooperatively work towards certain goals that represents the values and motivation of both leaders and the followers. The goal of forming new black leadership is to acquire for blacks in this lifetime economic justice, wealth, power, and equal employment of the rewards and benefits of the American dream. Black people are failing at empowering the community because in a competitive society, there are no mechanisms to give voice to unorganized and inarticulate groups. The black community must develop systems and institutions that are focused on developing black leaders. Unless a serious focus is placed on developing black leaders, Black people in America will remain uncompetitive in every sphere of influence and power. Point two, unjust distribution of wealth. The root of the problems for black advancements in America is the unjust distribution of our national wealth, power, and resources. Whites own almost 100% of our nation's wealth, power, business, and all levels of government support and resources. This monopoly was created from centuries of exploitation and expropriation of slavery and black labor. A slave life was committed to producing wealth and comfort for their white master. 
black people learn very quickly after slavery that unless you have money and power, your freedom is only theoretical. Black people would have a very hard time pulling themselves up by their bootstraps because local ordinances and social sanctions in the North and South restricted free blacks from earning competitive incomes. The socioeconomic inequalities that existed between white and blacks during and shortly after slavery have now become structural problems that are very difficult to dismantle. Point three, doctrine of unequal exchange. The doctrine of unequal exchange is the practice of unbalanced socioeconomic trade in which weaker parties foolishly trade or are tricked into trading their valued goods, services, or properties for money or items of far less value than what the stronger party is trading. It wasn't only Africa's human capital that was being displaced through slavery. During the same time, its material wealth was also being stolen by Arabs and Spanish Portuguese merchants and traded for low value fabric items such as iron brass, rings, religious artifacts, and used firearms. In exchange, Africa gave some of its most valuable commodities, such as gold, silver, quality leather, long cotton, art objects, black slaves, and ivory. This massive displacement of Africa's human capital and natural resources weaken West Africa's social and economic institutions. And we wish that we can say that things are different today. In America, we see the same unequal exchange of wealth for things that African Americans do not need, like Jordans, fancy cars, Gucci bags, red bottoms. Blacks also give nearly 100% of their vote to the Democratic Party. They are promised nothing, receive only photo ops, yet have remained loyal to party voters no matter what happens to them. Black people are still exchanging the best of their human capital and resources for little in return. The unequal exchange continues. Point three, the black civil rights movement. While the civil rights movement had many successes, it had four specific flaws that we will call out today. First, our black leadership focused its entire effort on achieving integration. They believe incorrectly that by moving symbols of Jim Crowism and gaining access to white society, black people would gain equality. Two, our black leaders failed in dealing with the problems that were caused by Jim Crowism, like the maldistribution and racist control of wealth, power, and resources in America. Three, there are no long-term planned development for where and how black people were to proceed post-civil rights era. Four, our black leaders fails to construct a national network of institution to train new generation of blacks who would assume the mantle of leadership and implement a national plan for black empowerment. The combined effect of these four major failures left black civil rights movement with no place to go, no way to get there, and no leadership to take. Blacks were involved in every aspect of the development of the American nation. We cleared the land and produced the crops. We raised the food and the children of white families. We fought in every war and developed the land expropriated from the American Indians. Black produced the wealth that whites in both the old and new world possessed and claimed to have achieved by the sweat of their brow. Although black people have contributed so much to this country, they have often been systematically barred from experiencing its benefit, except for a few chosen few, often selected by those with power. In essence, black labor exploitation is the foundation of all success in America today. Okay, family, thank you for watching. This concludes our review of Black Labor White Wealth by Dr. Claude Anderson. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Happy Black History Month. And as always, love you and live your best life. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this special video because, as I said, I believe Black history is every day of the month.
for us and we should be seeking our independence every day of the every day of the week therefore read dr anderson's book black labor white wealth i read it in the 90s as i've mentioned powernomics the national plan to empower black america and a black history reader and he has other books too I believe Dirty Little Secrets, I have all of them. So buy his books and read them so that we can empower ourselves and we can celebrate our independence because the 4th of July did not include the slaves. They were making every attempt to free themselves. Therefore, I wanted to present this to you today so always remember, your power lies within you. Let it loose. And again, I am Louise Hicks, the host of Aim to Purpose Empowerment Hour Spiritual, Aim to Purpose Spiritual Empowerment Hour. Always tell you, your destiny is your command. So have a great day, and I hope you did some reflection with your family today. And it's so important that you read, do your due diligence, because we must work on our freedom and our independence. Thank you. Much love. See you in the next video.